Hi, this is Tyler Disney from Integral Group Oaklands, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how we set up new mechanical plumbing templates. Uh, this is how we do it in Oakland. So the situation is you've got a new project, you haven't done anything yet, you just got the backgrounds from the architect and whoever else, and you want to start it up. So uh, so what do you do? So you've got your folder that's been set up by someone else and uh, you've got your default drawing folder. Um, pretty much everything's going to go in here. This is where the, the project itself is going to live. Uh, but first what you want to do is you want to grab our template uh, because we've done a lot of work on that and it's pretty awesome. So go to company, uh, go to standards ACAD, go to Reddit standards, go to 2013 library, and then um, probably won't see this uh, by the time you get to it, but you want you want the IGMP template that is the project, not the template. Um, it probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Anyways, copy the project, so that means it's going to be an, uh, an RV T, not in dot RTE. Anyways, copy it. Uh, you can close this. Uh, go back to your uh, new awesome project Revit folder and paste it. So this is already a pretty fully set up project file. It's work shared. It's got a bunch of other stuff. So there's some, it's a couple special things you have to do to it when you open it. Um, but anyway, you've got it there and. Presumably you've got some some new files in there. We don't have any uh, in there right now, so I'm just gonna throw some in really quickly. Uh, you don't need to copy this if you're setting up a new project. You would actually be uh, doing your own thing. So I'm just gonna grab these dummy links I've made and throw them in here. Perfect. All right, so uh, go back to Revit, and we want to open the project. So open this guy, and remember, never double click on the file that's there. Um, so like I said, this is a work shared file. It's a central file in that standards ACAD Revit standards folder, um, and you can't move central files around if you tr if you do that too much they they get confused so um, we're gonna have to make this not a central and then remake it a central at any rate when you open this for the first time after you've pasted it in here click detach from central and open it and then you want to detach and preserve work sets all right so it can't find these two reference files um, because it's uh, the template is looking at two links which are in that folder in the standards file. So um, you know at this point it's fine to go ahead and open the manage links to correct the problem. Uh, so it's looking for IG arc link. Now these are dummy links that I've set up just so that we have something to create uh, uh, view templates for. So we've got a bunch of view templates over here that apply to working views and sheet views and things like that that change the visibility settings of these two links now you know these are just dumb links they've got some things in them um, but you've got your own links in um, uh, from the architect for your project that you want uh, here instead of this dumb thing so what you do is you you hit reload from from and then uh, you make sure you're in your project folder, Times, Revit, and uh, links. And now you should have uh, the actual links that are in here. I just copied the dummy ones over, but you've got a repath and you've got to click this guy. So um, go ahead and do that. I don't know where it is. Think about it for a second. And structural. Now the reason I'm reloading from is because if I remove this and then inserted the link again, my view templates would forget uh, uh, the, the visibility settings I did with my view templates wouldn't apply to the new links. So that's why I'm doing this. Um, hopefully by the time you see this, there'll be a bunch of other dummy links uh, because most projects have a number of different links, more than just two. 
All right, so um, we've got our links set up. Uh, the very first thing you do, um, we're in an unsaved folder because remember we detached from central. So the first thing you have to do is save this as uh, the new central file. So go to uh, file, save as project. We want to be here. Um, and of course, we don't want it to be IGMP template. We want it to be IG underscore uh, MP for that stands for mechanical plumbing and then awesome uh, project, whatever it is. All right, go over here to options. Uh, this says make this a central model after save. It's checked and it's grayed out, which means you can't change that, which is fine because you want to make it a central file. So. Hit OK, hit save, give it a second to think about it. Uh, cool, so we have this up here. Um, we have our new central file set up, uh, which is great. Uh, the bad part is that we're now in our central model. We're not in a local file, which we never want to be in the central file. This is the only time it's acceptable to be in it. Uh, but we've done what we need to do. We've saved it. It's good to go. So hop out of it and then open a new, so you can delete that guy. Yes. Uh, open this guy uh, and open it as a new, create a new local file. This will put a new local copy of the central on your C drive or hard drive or wherever you have specified. Um, and that's what you want to be working in. And you can tell that you're in the uh, you're in a local file because it'll append an underscore your username uh, to the local file. And just as a little pro tip, your username is set here. I did that kind of fast. Big R, options, general. That's where your username is. Um, okay, so that's that's you've got your new you've got your new central model for your new project. Uh, there's a lot more to do, but I'm going to do that in the next video.